I think Danny Rule's probably been speaking to the players, and the players probably get the side of Danny Rule's going to. He wants to stay at the club and build. It's just got to be the right things in place, which all comes down to Chan Series backing. But if you look at the players that we've got out of contract, who are we keeping? So, Barry, let's start with Barry Bannon. Jake? Yep. Keeping him. Jack? Keep him. Yeah, it's a simple one, Definitely. that one. We don't need yeah. to go into it. You keep Barry Bannon. People try and underrate him, especially under Danny Rule's system, by the way. He fits perfectly because we're not as reliant on him. Um, he actually becomes more of the player that he can be in terms of not having yeah. to run everything when, through. When he's so. not the linchpin and everything's running through him, he plays better. He, he mm. plays yep. when he's not the focal yeah. point. He's so and when things better. run through him, he, he, he actually is he's still usually the best player on the pitch because things have yeah. to run through him, but it's, it's yep. actually gets the best out of him. We've been saying this for a while. Let's mm. not put so much pressure on his shoulders. And and it's one of those things where you you identify the best player in your side. And in the past, we've just gone, right, just get it to him and we'll do something, yeah. right? We uh, saw and making him captain, did, making him captain season. actually made that made that more prominent because he's then got the ability to shout and make sure it happens. So I think seeing the improvement, as you just said, Jake, over the last season, going into this season, Danny Rull is getting the best out of him. So yes, we don't need to go too much into Barry Bannon. We'll go to Josh Windass. So Josh Windass, Jack. Keep him. Hands down, keep him. We were, we were 10 points better off with him in the side compared to the same amount of games with him out of the side um, in terms of the points that we collected. So statistically the side is better with him in it keep him and his work rate and work ethic and anyway yeah sorry i say yeah. i say keep him my only thing is the total little injury but that documentary he did recently he loves being at wenthe he's never been at a club that actually likes him as much as we do <laughs> and i think that's something that's you've got to take in i think you keep him because he's the difference between or staying up in theory with the goals he got when mm. you think about one it one year for me if I'm going to give my opinion on this I think we keep him but it's a year for me because yeah um, with extension options I with guess. options yeah. yes yeah. but it, I think they should be related to uh, appearances performance and, yeah, yeah. Appearances, yeah. Uh, because it's just a case of like if we are building he's not going to struggle to find a club but if he's going to have these injury issues which is not, not his fault I'm he'd not been, trying to say that but it's a case of like to, he'd been linked this uh, literally a couple of minutes ago with apparently Stoke, Hull, and West Brom. Uh, we right, we okay. To. Can possibly, Hull go away, please? And like, possibly is... newly promoted Derby County. Like what? Why Fair enough. Hull's well, like, he's he's going to have anyway. options. Yeah. And and you know yeah. what? I actually see this being the thing. I think we will offer him a year with options. Yeah. And I think if Danny Rule stays, he will take that. Or I think he'll get such a good offer from one of those clubs you have just mentioned that it secures his future. And I wouldn't really mind either way. No, I wouldn't no. be bitter about it. It'd be one of those things where I would be putting that money. <laughs> We're going to get go for him anyway, obviously, Perveda. Yeah. But I would be, if Perveda was on the line and Windass went, I wouldn't be heartbroken in terms of the future. Mm. I would be sad to see him go because he's um, he's been quality for us and he could continue to be quality for us. But... Again, you bring in a younger player that can play that position, that ceiling is higher, then you look at that. And I think I think that's the rational way to look at it. Um, but I think is can I just say as well, I think his leadership qualities are not getting really much of a mention that they should here because there's there's him, Bannon and Windass. That trio of players really do get it. Like what what it means to be Wednesday players. Wait, whoa, do you mean him, Palmer and Bannon? Yeah. Him, Palmer and Bannon. <laughs> him, Palmer yeah. and Bannon. That's what yes, I you said. said right? No, you no, didn't. No, no you no, said him, Bannon, and Windass. Oh, brain fart. Sorry. Him, Sorry. <laughs> him, Bannon, and Palmer, that holy trinity of players, are the ones that really, really get the club and what the fan base is about, what the club's about, what, what the city is about. And hmm. if we lose Windass, we're losing a crucial person that can get through to any new players just what it means to play for this club. And... I just think that his leadership qualities in the dressing room as well are just so important that we we can't lose that just yet, I don't think, because we haven't had enough of an emerging leader from the younger players that is one of ours coming through yet just yet, I don't think. And I just I that that seems to be getting overlooked uh, a little bit in a lot of talks in the in the journalism world, in the comments sections and whatever else. And I just think that's more 
why do you, it's like when we had uh, Jose Semedo and he stuck around with his leadership qualities even though he was barely going to be played under Carlos but he stuck around anyway because they knew how important his leadership qualities were in that dressing room and yeah. yes Windass will be getting more game time <laughs> but it's the same thing I want to I, I understand what you're saying but Jake, I actually want to move on to so I much. think I think this is this is more important player to keep than Windass yes. for me Liam Palmer so I'll start yeah, on this Liam Palmer that this is why well, I understand where you're going with the leadership qualities and things like that, but I think you've got that in Palmer and Bannon. They're the two cru- cruxes for me that need this side. Palmer is a Wednesday fan, has been a Wednesday fan since he was young. He is the only embodiment of that that we have at the club. For me, it's an essential player that we keep. And I'm sure, Jake, you agree on that one. 100%. Um, yeah. He, he I want him to club. finish his career here. I want, I want him, him to finish his career. I want him and Bannon to retire at Wednesday. That's very simple. Yep. Because I think they deserve it. And I think you get Liam Palmer. Liam Palmer's had that whole thing where he's had to fight for each manager that's normally come in to fight for his place. And he's always done it 100%. He's the player that will give you 110%, even when he's had needs a double hernia operation at the end of last season. The, I the think the money needs gone. to be sensible, though. But I think he mm. should be. And I think he'll understand that. I if he wants like it. a longer contract with options, I think it should be a case if you do the staggered wages. I think a lot of you start on this, deals, blah, blah, blah. blah that we're doing, if you'd noticed over the last 12 months, we're putting deals in front of players with options, which we haven't done in a long time. Yeah. Jack Palmer. Yes, keep for the same reasons that I was saying about Windass. He's far too important and he's basically Mr. Sheffield Wednesday. So keep him. And yes. is, is it more than good enough to be in a, pr- a promotion challenging side in the championship, in my opinion? So yes, keep him. I think that as well, especially if, if you, even if you looked at him as a squad player, he's he's good enough to be in that in that yeah, in that definitely. there. But he's he's shown he's shown it, and we'll talk about another Wednesday fan now. Actually, Cameron Dawson, Jack, let him go. He needs to have the same thing opportunity that Wildsmith had. Uh, he needs to be able to spread his wings somewhere else and be someone else's number one because I just can't see him being uh, the number one here, especially under a, a Danny system. Uh, I don't think, I don't think he's like I don't think he's good enough with his feet for the distribution aspect of it, and I, mm, I just think he deserves to have a better shot somewhere else, that on, that's that's under a more of a Darren Moore style system or whatever else you know, I mm, I can't see him no, I get making you. it under, but if, Danny, I think yeah he could if if, if Darren Moore had got relegated, he thought he'd go yeah. to somewhere potentially. Yeah. It's one of those things he, that he where could that could have made sense. Still go there though because he went to Exeter. It's true, but I think he is better than that. I think he's a really good oh, League yeah. One keeper. But, but I think, um, I think Jack, it's, I think Jake, for me, the <laughs> I bit that annoys me is that it, when it's come to when to find and play for the club, you have that whole thing. You always want them to be here and do well. He have done well here, but for his career, he needs to go do what Joe did. He needs to go and get. Yeah, he does. I, 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 I. I didn't get really cool, but I had the whole thing when Joe left. I said he needs to go do it for his own legacy with his kid. And it's not the same thing with Dawson, but I think he needs to do it for his own legacy with him. So He, he just needs to do it as a player this. because he is a good keeper. He's he's just, a very, he he's doesn't a fit our stopper. system. No. And, and, and do you know what? I think when Danny Rule came in, it was one too many managers that have realised that Dawson doesn't fit the system. Yeah. Dawson... I don't know if his level will fit the st- not his level, but his his style. Mm. I don't think. I think he will forever be a top end League One, lower end Championship keeper, and he might surpass that because he's not reached his prime yet, right? No. But I think at the minute that's where he is. He needs to go to he's one of those clubs. Mm. Just, uh, do you know who he'd be great for? But I just don't think he'd go there, and I don't think he should. Barnsley. Yeah. Or even Rotherham so there if, we they go. Lose, uh, if they lose uh, Johansson. It, it, yeah, but I, I well, don't... But... I think he should... You know where he I should go? I think he should go to a Portsmouth or something like that. No, you but... know where you think... I reckon he should go back to Exeter. Where he oh, went they, are, they are in League they 1 loved now, him there. They, I think. Exeter. They uh, I think they survived. Yeah. I think they survived. If they survived, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah, I, I they go back to Exeter. They loved him. He was part of a promotion winning team. Uh, yeah, Exeter survived. They were 13th last oh, nice. 
Yeah, no, definitely then. That makes sense. Go to Exeter Dawson and thank you for everything you've done for Wednesday. But I can't see him getting a new contract anyway. And I don't think he should. I don't think he'll accept it if he gets offered it. I think it's no, time. Um, Dominic Iorfa, Jake. I think it's time for Iorfa to go. Oh, interesting. Okay. Um, I like him and I think he's really good, but it's a mixture that whole thing. I think he needs, he could do with a bit of a change of scene because he's been here under a lot of managers and different things. And we don't, I offers, we've got a lot of players who can only get about 20 games out of them for whatever reason. And then they seem to go and leave us and go and do amazingly, i.e. Massimo Luongo. I think Dominic Ayoff for one of those ones, if you're wanting to put a new system in play, because if you look at what we have with Ad, uh, Whitway and Bernard, I think he's going to look for a younger version of Dominic Ayoff instead of keep him. That's I interesting. Think, I think there's a... I, 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 if, if we had someone else lined up, like another Bernard or something, like similar mold, he probably don't get in. Because he hasn't played much this season anyway. When he comes in, he really steps up. But oh, I, d- I don't know. Well, I, let, me, let me check his appearances because I feel you might be right. He's Well, he's made 28 appearances. That's not a load, but he's he's been pretty present for us. But he's, we've had that little niggle. The, the only yeah. thing, I d- he hasn't played a lot under Danny, has he? he he's had to come in when there's been an injury. He's yeah, had lots of bench I, I, appearances, hasn't he? Like, I uh, see what you're saying. In replace of... Someone and, that was and again, I absolutely love Iofa. And he's no, been no, I'm not suggesting you don't, obviously, yeah. yeah. At yeah. the same time, I think it might be that time. I, I think he'd do really well at someone like a Birmingham in League One. Jack, what do you think on that? Yeah, also, he came I'm, from Wolves. Do you think he'd go to Birmingham? <laughs> ah, but they're direct rivals, West Brom. It's it's different. They're, yeah, they're in, the, in a thing, the black country rather a than thing. Brummies. I think it, I think it's a bit yeah. But will you think one, that yeah. about Rotherham and Barsley with us? But they don't show up about us, do oh, they? Oh yeah. Well, yeah. Sorry, carry on. <laughs> um, I, I'm a similar way inclined. I think he's been too injury prone. If you look at his actual, like all of his years with us, like I, I think the the season that he got signed was the first was the only real season he wasn't plagued with injuries. Don't qu- please correct me if I'm wrong, but you um, are wrong. Oh, well, but yeah, but anyway, carry on. it's the second been, he's season. He's had a lot of injuries. Yep. He's had a lot of injuries uh, under, you know, while playing for us. And I just, yeah, yeah. I think uh, as, as fast as he is at running, in a way, I think he's a bit too slow on the ball itself. And I don't think that he can keep up with the passing ability that Danny would want and the intensity and crispness you of it. You know what the problem you've got, Jack, and that I got as well? We both said the same thing about Windass and we said keep and this is the issue. It's a difficult one because we've got a couple of players who do seem to get injuries but step up when needed. Yeah, but I, yeah. I, I don't think... I, I think Iorfa would just be a bench player anyway. And I don't... <laughs> this, is, I this is where I actually better. want to weigh into this. I think yes. Um, as a starter, no. But I think as a squad player, he offers squad versatility player, yeah. and it, it depends on what he's building. So I think another year, I again, I think he'll go off. I think he'll go, but I wouldn't be upset to I see Wednesday offer him a year. year. Yeah, um, as a squad, squad player, player because yeah. he made, he, he, he started to turn it around in terms of the appearances, like 28 this season, 32 last season. Before that, it wasn't great. His first season in the League One, he had 19 appearances and then in the relegation season, he only had 10. That's when he hit his injuries. But he's starting to come back to a more... I think he's being managed a little bit better. And I think it's one of those things. As a squad player, he made 30 overall appearances for us this season. I believe... Oh, by the way, he made 45 overall appearances for us last last season. He made a lot of appearances for us last season. We can't take that into... Uh, it was because we had a lot of cup competitions as well, didn't we, oh, last yeah, season? yeah, we did, didn't we? Yeah. So... Um, what we've well, got in terms I've, I've of got to say, I've got to say on that point as well. Last season, look how many times he was giving the ball away in crucial uh, positions that led to a goal. He hasn't do, for me. He hasn't done that this season, whatever. though. Mm. I don't know if I, I well, don't think he's, he's done that this season. You can correct me if you want. He's been on yes. the bench a lot. He's not made many appearances. Right. He's only missed sixteen games. Well. 18 league games, which is quite a lot actually. But uh, it's <laughs> one of those exactly. when you actually look at the. You look at the whole thing. Um, he's, I don't know. I think he's a squad player. I understand your point. I think he's a squad player. I just think he's got that versatility. I've, I think we've he's seen a him squad play. player, but 
Does we've seen him play centre back, player? right back, central defence. Danny likes using a three quite a lot. He fits in that three quite well. You know, he covers where, you for know other players. You, you know where I would say you could possibly do it. What he converted him to a CDM. You all have said that before, but I don't think that. I think that ship sailed with him, to be honest. Mm. <laughs> well, he would. Ca- um, yeah, but then again, you right, look okay. at what Can he would. I, let me put it to you this way: Would you prefer to have Dominic Ayoffer in the back three or Akin Fabewo? Uh, I offer. Oh yeah, I. Mm, I, I offer. Yeah, I think. There you go. Sorry, Akin, but yeah. yeah. There you go. That's awkward. That, yep. Mm. Google's just done something it shouldn't do. Um, Google Akin for Maywo and see what picture comes up. Sort your stuff out, Google. I'm not saying it on the podcast. It's just not ideal. Um, let's oh, dear. Look. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's not great, is it? No. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, Aki fabebo has got a contract, so he's not going to be one we're going to be talking about there. Um, no, nope. he's his runs out next summer. Well, but- Michael Oetway's got another contract. We'll go. No, we're going to go on to Bernard because Bernard is. We're still in the defenders, so Bernard's contract is running out now. I think all three of us are going to say yes, yeah. keep him. Yeah, but I don't think that's our decision, do you, lads? No. The I don't thing, think we've got a Kaidel's chance. The only thing that you could possibly throw at it is Danny puts a massive big sale pitch in front of him and said, do you want to still be part of this next season? Kind of thing. I right, think Bill, he's going to Ipswich. I think he's going to Ipswich as well. <laughs> I, I would keep him, but I really don't like that he has used us to get a platform Oh, I think no, if you're no, no, be... no, Jack, Jack, Jack. He had a great spell when he'd been at Hull before. He's had a great spell when he'd been at Pompey. Every club uses a club as a platform. If he was absolutely rubbish and we went down, you'd be going, oh, he's got to go. You, every club uses a platform. We were lucky yeah, no. to get him when we did get him. We, we said at the time when we got him, he was protecting his interests and I didn't yeah. blame him. But I, I am at that situation but now where the season I would have liked us to have an option in there. I would think it would be silly... I just, I don't, there's parts of me that doesn't like with the, with what we've accomplished this season, that he's still very much in the camp of I'm going off somewhere else, rather than. Uh, Understandable, anyway, if he goes whatever. anywhere in the championship, I completely yeah. agree with you, unless it's a, one of the relegated sides. However, yeah. if he goes to Ipswich, that makes perfect sense, because I'm telling you, his level is going to be there. I actually yeah. think if we do keep him, which I think we should try to do. He will, he will be a shepherd in central defender that gives us more of a chance of the yeah. likes of the playoffs and promotion. So it, I agree in terms of it depends on the sale pitch that goes out there. But I also have this thing as a Sheffield Wednesday fan. Yes, how dare you use my club as a stepping stone? But I think that's exactly what it was sold to him on because mm. he probably wouldn't have come to us otherwise. He would have had a lot of options on the table. Yeah. In my opinion. Will Volks, Jake. Uh, yes. You give him another year. You, you, I think when they start getting past 30, it's a year with an option and we'll see how you do. I think we've got to work on that model now. I think in the midfield, he works well. I think if you get someone who's a younger player who can learn off Will and like then mentor him, I think it's a yes for me because he's done really well. It's just... He's a good squad player. That squad player, if you get players in and around him and then you need another leg legs off the bench, he can do that for you. He'll come on and give you 110%. Yeah, yeah. Jack? I agree. Same same answer as Jake, really. So I, don't, I can't really add anything more to that. So Again, do, do you know what I'm realising as we say all of this, though? I'm again in the camp of one more year, which makes me think... Yeah. Which makes me think, are we going to do it? Because if Danny's building for a bigger project, will he want one year's? I don't know. Mm. I he actually might don't know. It for, he might want it for just having a bit of quad depth. Yeah. yeah. Transition I don't, in, terms of, in terms of Volks, the... yes. Yeah. In terms of Volks, yes. Um, I think he's just won our player of the year, for example. I think our w- midfield's weak and it's going to be okay, weaker. Weak. So so he makes sense to give another contract for, for sure. Because Byers... He's gone. 
He's gone. Yeah, he's gone. He, he's, he's linked. Is. He's linked with the club today, actually, I believe. He's in talks um, with the club, apparently. Um, yeah. Apparently he's in talks with Huddersfield Town, which is interesting because Huddersfield Town don't have a manager at the minute, but they're already planning for stuff. Uh, it makes sense though he can by, stay by relatively leave, one can do well he close doesn't to have where to he move is. he can stay where he lives it makes a lot of sense and buyers there was a lot of people calling for buyer to come back he just doesn't work in a Danny Rule system no that's the only reason why it's not worked he just doesn't work in it great player but do, as you said doesn't fit that system there Marvin Johnston interesting one I think he's got another year I think he got another it, year, but I'm not sure. I, it, people think he has some people. It hasn't come out yet, but we'll see. If he had got, we'll talk year, about that one further. Yeah, that we'll see. One that's on the retained list whenever that comes out. I guess exactly. We'll Pato got an option of a year apparently, and 100 percent you keep him. I've seen a lot of people. Oh, so so all right, so we'll move on then. So Pato, then Are you, do you think we keep him? Yes. 100 percent because he Why? gives you he gives you that player that will do the running. That you need to you get in people's yeah, faces, yeah, yeah. which we haven't had. And look at how much when Pato came back from being injured, Danny went, "You're going on," and he caused a lot of the like making a mistake. If our game is full on press, there's no one better at that than Pato. I actually agree with you. I think he made because I was ready. I would have been ready before Danny rolled to go in to go. Pato, he's a utility player while we've got him sort of thing. But the way he's been utilized, we will look so much better a squad in certain situations yeah. with Callum Patterson in it. So yeah, I would say give him another deal. What do you think, Jack? I agree. I mean, if you remember back to that, the, the, the God awful Norwich game at home uh, towards the end of the season, he dragged us back into that point, kicking and screaming the, like the team with how they were playing did not want to win that clearly, and yet well, he dragged Leicester us game? back into it. At home, uh, was it at home or was it that? I can't remember. It was a Le- it was the Leicester game where we got one one, and it was him and uh, Cads up top. Mm. And I remember we, I think you did a watch along for it, Dex, and we were talking how much Cads and Pato were just pressing hard to win the ball back. Yeah, yeah. And it what it what caused us to get the corner in the first place. No, I, I see it. I am worried that we're saying this a lot because I'm thinking, are we getting sentimental here? But Pato is a, a player that can... F- I mean, we're not because it fits the system. <sighs> like, yeah, and, it does. And even though it's yeah, a yeah. one year for these players, it's it's a good transition also, to if you've got a mentor year, the newer players coming in. And if you've got a yeah. year on them, if, someone, if we do get people who are better and so he comes in from, say, like a heart wanted him last season, we get money. That's true. Uh, Lee Gregory has, is leaving. We're going to talk about his goodbye, goodbye message yeah, uh, in a little while, actually, uh, the next topic. So we uh, he is gone. It makes sense. Um, he's been great for us. He didn't get the send-off he deserved, in my opinion, but we'll no, move on to that in a second. Um, and yeah, I think I think that's it. Is it? Am I missing players? Oh, uh, Reese James. Like, there's, oh, yeah, Reese James. And there's like players like Brennan... Kieran Brennan and stuff like that. that yeah, yeah, off. the younger players. Yeah, which which we all assume are off. But let's talk about in terms of first team. Is Reese James for me? It's not worked. Yeah, it, not that, worked. He's not a Danny player. He's not a Danny player. Um, he should. He he, came, I think he he'll drop back down to League One. He, he came in when we needed someone in when we didn't know what was going on. Jack, was, you're not allowed to take a victory lap because no, he was playing until Danny rolled. I wasn't going to. You know, I was just quietly thinking. It. I was wondering. I was wondering because the thing is, I remember you actually. We, we were saying at the start of the season, oh, Inti oh, playing I well, absolutely just bent over I a rate. barrel for having that yeah. opinion that Reese James wouldn't fit in with this championship squad, and 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 he did until we got the new manager. Well, I mean, did he even play he much under Cisco? He didn't. He only made a couple of appearances under Cisco, even, and he wasn't all that great. He's only made think. eight I'm appearances lying. this uh, season. I'm trying to, uh, it's copium in the fact it's that copium. I remember being, what, I remember talking oh, to you at one point. you were so hard like, <laughs> yes, Reese James in. Yes. And I remember, I remember Andy but, no, as no, well no, at one no, point, no, I think no, it was. No, hang on. Hang on. There was, there was so one many point people that were hard where like, I was oh, yeah, Reece Jack, James. Oh. Jack, I'm not letting you have this because yeah. you turned around and went, I am wrong from when he has played, he has been fantastic. And actually we were wondering why he hadn't played more. I remember that being a conversation, but yeah, it comes to a point where we get one. later in the season. No, it was this season. I will find... Somebody go back through the episodes and find it where Jack ate his own words. It was in there. You're thinking of my comments on Marvin Johnson. 
actually. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It was on an episode where you went, oh yeah, I see what you mean about Reese James now. I'm not okay. making it up. It's there somewhere. Someone will find it. But yeah, anyway, <laughs> um, anyway, I think what has shown is since Danny Rule specifically, it's not, it's not been a thing yeah. and we've not missed him, unfortunately. But yes, somebody find that because I am 100% certain that I had Jack on and he went, <laughs> I, I, the thing that I'm slightly worried about was was it before an episode where me and Jack were uh, Jake were ripping into you and you went yeah alright I get it because the, the, that's a thing Probably. as well that happens yeah. sometimes so that it might not be in an episode but it has to be somewhere and now I'm annoyed you just don't cause... want me to be right do you <laughs> <laughs> no, I agree. I agree that you are you are right yeah. over the yeah, course right. of the the year. Yeah. But actually, I think, I think in the position, I think from we the perspective, yes, in the sense. position we win, we needed players in. And also, when when we signed, thought he was going to play under Darren Moore. Let's just no, say that. No, 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 we didn't because he signed when Sicko was com- coming in. No, yeah, that's true. I thought. Yeah. I thought it was yeah, like said, a day or two before no, the announcement of Darren Moore leaving. I right? thought it was. Yeah, or something thought, like that. It was like it was if pretty it wasn't, early on if, in the if in it, the window. I can find out. Yeah, one. I'm pretty I thought, sure. I as thought well, we it speculated was a like before a, Darren Moore left. A, oh, nostalgia goggles! Like, oh, we need somebody in quick. Like, you know, panic, panic yeah. stations. Oh, Reese James will come in. There we go. Either way, Jack. Over time, yes, yes. we 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 knew you because 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 we even said I do remember us saying in that conversation. I said. Towards the end of the season is when you will review it because it's, yes. it's a case of like, I don't think he'll be the future of the club, but I think for what we have right now, he's better than what we've got. And he I stand by that. He was better than what we had. of June. Oh, when did Darren Moore leave? Yeah. When did Darren Moore leave? I think, I'm pretty sure I'm that was I'm just doing that now. No. Or, or July. No, May. June. May. <laughs> Near oh. the end of May. He didn't leave in May. Oh, right. It wasn't okay. May, was it? Was it? Uh, Darren Moore left. Oh, that's a silence. Hang on. Nineteenth uh, of June. Ah. So nineteenth of June he leaves. So he did the, leave before. So when Reece James signed, it was literally we haven't got any players. We need you to sign. All oh, right. Okay. We must have done our speculation episode beforehand because I remember Darren Moore being a big point of that conversation we when we were talking we about did. contracts. Yeah, yeah. I'm referring to, uh, yeah, I'm trying to think back to a podcast rather than a thing. But yes, Rhys James, um, he will be off. Have I missed anyone else? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I think it's all about additions, guys, and building on what we've got. The more I think about it now, yes, maybe um, if we aren't being sentimental, then yes, if we can strengthen in that players position, players year, like I offer maybe do go. If you put players on one-year deals and then you strengthen and then you go, hey, I've strengthened in your position, we will let you go, then you have this situation where you still recruit what you got. Because the one thing we've yeah, been absolutely. poor at over the years is just letting players go for nothing instead of just cashing in on them. Yeah. 